Hi everyone, uh, my name is Walter. Uh, many of you might know me from my website, e38registry.org, if you've ever searched about the E38 online. And one of my pet peeves when I'm selling a car, or buying a car online, is that nobody really puts any pictures or a video or really any effort whatsoever into making a decent ad. So I thought, well, you know, when it comes to selling my some 40i Sport, I figured I would make a nice video do a nice walkthrough through to the car because when you're buying a car online you sometimes you don't know what you're buying so let's come take a look at it so this is a 2001 740i Sport Canadian spec um, Canada only got several hundred of these I think they got about a thousand 740i Sports over the course of the entire production run so it's not a very common car um, I made a few upgrades in the interior using all OEM parts. I grabbed a BMW individual interior from a 740i from the UK. The interior looks great, I'll show you. Uh, upgraded wood trim. Lots and lots and lots of mechanical maintenance done. Uh, timing chain guides were done, Venus was done, drive shaft was done, cooling system was done, power steering hoses were done. Basically anything that can leave you stranded in this car has already been taken care of. So it's basically a perfect daily driver and I'm gonna now go over all of the details. So, uh, if you're not familiar with the M Sport package, uh, it comes with the M Parallel wheels, shadow line exterior trim, uh, shorter final drive ratio, so the 315 rear end, and also M Sport suspension, which gives the car a slightly uh, lowered look in the front looks really really nice. Uh, this car specifically in terms of options it has heated seats, uh, massage seats in the front, um, what else, uh, heated steering wheel, uh, the park distance control, chrome line interior, uh, probably some other stuff I'm forgetting about. Uh, comes with like the old GPS if you're really into using CD based navigation, I personally use my cell phone. And most importantly, in this car, the cup holders actually work, at least the front. Um, so what has been done in the last 100,000 miles or so, which is, tends to be relevant maintenance, uh, trunk lock was replaced, the power steering pump was replaced, uh, the alternator was replaced, uh, the front suspension was replaced, and the ABS module was replaced. Now, all of this maintenance was done at, by the previous owner at many BMW dealerships across the lower mainland here in Vancouver. There is over $16,000 worth of receipts. There's a ton of receipts. Um, under my ownership, what have I done? Uh, and that has been within the last 25,000 miles, roughly. Okay, so now let's talk about the maintenance that I've performed on this engine. Um, I did, most importantly, and this is the thing that everybody has to ask when buying one of these cars or the E39 540 with this engine is, have the timing chain guides been done? If they have been done, has the Venus also been done? And if those things have been done, do you have any proof that it actually has been done, or did you do it in your you know, backyard with your neighbors or something? Um, this one here, I did it at a well-known BMW shop in Seattle, uh, DODMD Tuning. Uh, the owner actually owns a very famous uh, E38 750IL. It's like a very bright blue. I'm sure you've seen it online somewhere. Um, I did absolutely everything in it, all the gaskets, all the seals, uh, both Venus gears are, are brand new rebuilt units from Dr. Venus. I did the upper timing chain tensioners also which are often overlooked and also the upper camshaft guides which nobody really does but I figured I would do it anyway. I wanted a very quiet engine with all the original torque and all the original power so I just went all in. Uh, I did the entire cooling system, so I did water pump, I did all the hoses, I did radiator, expansion tank, um, what else, power steering, uh, I did all of the power steering hoses, I also changed the reservoir, and yeah, I mean, pretty much everything under the hood has been replaced, uh, every, well, everything that can you know, kind of leave you stranded anyway has been replaced. It's a very, very clean engine bay, as you can see. There's really no, you know, big oil puddles or oil leaks or really anything here. I mean, it's just absolutely perfect. So let's take a look at the interior. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the interior. The 740i Sport 
it normally, unless you special order it through BMW Individual, you normally get the black uh, sport contour seats. They're very good for spirits of driving. Uh, they really, really hold you tight. However, they're not very good for a daily driver, in my opinion. Uh, they're not extremely comfortable because of the very, very firm bolster. So it's great if you're taking it for a nice spin in the canyons. Not so great if you're sitting an hour in traffic downtown. So what I did is I grabbed a pair of front active comfort seats, heated, uh, from a 740IL. And I replaced the entire interior leather from like the regular Montana black with um, a gray with black piping uh, Napa and Montana leather. Very, very good. The interior is, I mean, in excellent condition. Very minimal wear. There's a little bit of wear here because remember this car, uh, this interior came from a UK 740i. So the wear on the bolster is, you know, on the driver's side, obviously. I put it here so that it's not that obvious when you look at the car. I get, but again, it's it's pretty much in great condition. Uh, the wood is perfect. Uh, there's maybe some minor scratches and dings here and there. Came out of a Euro 750i Sport. So very, very rare to get the inlaid wood trim here in North America. You pretty much only got it on individual models or on 750i L Sports uh, in the U.S. I had the, it's, pre, it's a pretty much a complete set. I also have the B-pillars, but uh, they'll come with the car. They're not installed because I couldn't find a set of black B-pillars in really good condition that I would want to replace with. Uh, what else comes with park distance control? Uh, pretty standard uh, Canadian spec comes with a very nice chromine interior, which you could only get in the 750 ILs in the U.S. Uh, you can really get it in anything. Uh, luckily, it's a Canadian spec, so it comes with the chrome door sills, uh, with the chrome button surrounds, and uh, the chrome speaker grills and whatnot. The And it also comes with uh, the chrome and wood grab handles here on the roof, which, again, you could only really get this on the 750L. So the interior looks very, very nice, very, very um, high-end. The headliner is in excellent condition. It's not sagging or anything. Um, oh, I, I also put the uh, rear 750IL wood lights to kind of complete the look. Um, when I swapped the interior, I used the BMW Individual Euro Highline composition. So what that means is that you get the seats with the contrasting piping and you also get the door inserts in the leather color. So you can see all of those interior options in the um, upholstery page on e38registry.org to kind of see what I'm talking about for the, you know, other maybe five people know what I'm talking about, the rest can look it up. Uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, I guess just show the rear seats. Oh, whoops. I also put in the 750i Short wheelbase ashtrays, wood, they're also, you, know, you can get them in North America. So it looks very, very nice in the back seat. And finally, let's uh, look at the trunk. So, trunk, pretty standard E38 trunk, comes with a little rubber holder thingies. Um, this car didn't come with the, the netting and I never really bothered to pick it up. It does come, however, with the original navigation DVDs from 2001 for Canada. So, good if you're in Canada. If you're not in Canada, I would recommend you go online and look for them. Comes with the uh, original navigation computer in here. Everything works in good condition. We'll see when we go for a drive. And it does come with the spare, which is an unparalleled wheel, great condition, I've had to use it before. Ah, yes. Right, and the toolkit is also uh, complete to North American specifications, has all of the pieces. Uh, if you're from Europe and you're wondering where the triangle is, the triangle does not come in North American models for whatever reason. Okay, 
right, so let's talk about the exterior defects because again, this is a daily driver. This isn't a car that was you know stored in a climate controlled garage for 15 years. I mean, I drove this up and down for work, and uh, as such, it has some cosmetic defects. So if you look on the hood, there's minor rock chipping here and there. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, probably a little bit of scratches on the headlights. Uh, on this side, there's a parking lot ding somewhere. Oh, right there. Yeah. So there's a door ding right about here, which could be PDR'd probably if you, if it really bothers you. Uh, you know, minor scratches, scrapes, nothing really major. A little bit here. Uh, the wheels, they have very minor curbing, as you've probably noticed. Uh, they're in, um, otherwise they're in pretty good condition. No bends, no cracks, nothing like that. Um, these wheels actually came off of my 750 IL individual. If you go online and look at the build thread for this car on my website, you will notice that it used to have an AC Schnitzer kit, AC Schnitzer wheels, everything. But when selling it, you know, nobody really wants to buy somebody else's project. So I brought it back to stock. So I put back the, put back the M parallel wheels, uh, took out the AC Schnitzer front lip and rear valance, got everything nicely painted and looks really, really good. Um, what else? There used to be things on this side. I got them removed because they were a little bit larger. So I didn't really want to sell it with that. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I touched up some minor scratches right here, but you can't really see them unless you look for them. There's probably... And there might be minor minor dings here on the trunk, and that's really, that's pretty much it. Like, the car is exceedingly clean on the outside. Oh yeah, actually, one more thing. I should probably mention, um, people, if you have a, like, a very keen eye, you'll probably notice this, but the tires on the front and on the rear, they're different brands. Uh, they're Michelin's on the rear, and I think uh, Continental's, maybe? Uh, no, they're Goodyear's on the front. And the reason for that is that I believe the previous owner had a blowout on one of the tires and instead of buying a four set, he just replaced the two front tires. Uh, the car drives fine, no issues. Uh, I didn't replace the tires because I figured that whoever buys them uh, will want to put their preferred brand of tires on it. So, you know, no point in bothering. Okay, so let's go for a drive now. You can uh, go in the uh, go in the passenger side, and let's start the engine up. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the hood again, so that you can listen to the engine starting up. Normally when you start up a BMW V8 engine of this era, you will immediately hear a clock, 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 clock from the Venus, not this car. Now, I do advise you, the car is a little bit louder than stock because I don't have mufflers. Uh, they will obviously be included with the sale because I know that a lot of states and Canadian provinces have inspections um, and you will need those unfortunately, but the sound is just too great for me to put it back on. So as you can see, the engine is extremely quiet. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, not much to say. There's no Venus noise, no weird rattles. You heard it starting up, it didn't have the, the weird the startup rattle when you have a bad timing chain tensioner, for example. All that stuff being replaced, everything is new. And I do have paperwork for everything too. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna shut this down, uh, I guess close it down, and let's go for a drive. Okay, so we're in the car, uh, everything's pretty comfortable. Uh, before I drive off, I kind of want to show that all the accessories work. Uh, 
specifically the the cup holders and whatnot uh, just gonna film the the dash here really quick uh, there's no check engine lights or, or anything weird uh, the mileage if you can read it right now is uh, 257 256 kilometers that works out to about 160 ish thousand miles I think 161 162 um, so yeah so let's uh, kind of go over all the accessories um, the first button here that's for the heated seats and that definitely do, that definitely works it does work I'm not gonna obviously let it heat up because it doesn't show on video and it's also uh, something like 25 degrees outside uh, this is the uh, active comfort seats which um, is actually pretty cool it does massage you it's very great for fatigue uh, DSC, PDC, the usual. Uh, the car doesn't come with SEDC or the rear sunshade, but this was the only switch sensor that I could find that also had the uh, active seats. This came from a 750IL, I believe. Uh, and the passenger side, massage seats, and then the heated seats. So let's look at the cup holder. Press in. Look at that. Like this is this is easily like worth the entire car. Then. You can close it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. This is very rare. Oh, look at that. It opens up. Oh, not touching it. And closes again. Look, perfect. How often do you see that on these cars? Um, the navigation here works fine. Uh, I'll bite a little bit old. Gives you like a little warning screen. Uh, let me see. Uh, vehicle position street map eventually it's gonna show a GPS by the time we get back to it uh, let's look at the windows uh, the windows are, are usually something that um, tend to break window regulators you buy a car and then you find out one of the windows doesn't work this one all of the windows do work so we're gonna lower the driver's side window and bring it back up then we're gonna lower the passenger side window Down it goes, and up it goes. Now we're going to look at the uh, rear driver side window, and down it goes, and up it goes. And then finally, we will look at the, uh, hopefully, uh, some tricky camera work here, the rear passenger side window goes down, and then goes all the way up. Uh, another cool feature this car has is the power folding mirrors on the outside. So I'm not sure if the, you'll be able to get, to get it on camera, but you basically, you press the button, then it automatically closes on this side, and if you look on the other side, it's also automatically closed. And then press here, and then it opens again. That function also works perfectly. Uh, something else that tends to break here, frequently is the glove box latch works perfect and the struts also work perfectly so it comes down normally press it up closes just lift the hand here uh yeah i think uh, let's do central locking central locking here sometimes doesn't work so press the button lock unlocks hazard lights uh lights work you can look at the cluster works fine fog lights no errors. Also, when you look on the dash display here, right below the right below the kilometers, you can see that it doesn't have the the two little orange arrows that indicate a pending error. There are no errors. It's absolutely perfect. It's going to release a parking brake here, and yeah, it's an error-free cluster. Very also uncommon on these cars. So let's go for a quick drive. So. Put it in drive and let's go. I'm gonna try and be quiet so you can listen to it. Uh, let's see. So you can see the the car drives very well. Power steering is great. The cars of like the steering is great. It's very very tight, very precise, uh, which is exactly the way I like it. It's very similar to the um, to the one on the E39 M5. It's very good. It's not mushy or, or wobbly or anything like that uh, with merging and 
Yeah, just a general driving here in Vancouver. So you can see I'm doing about 50 miles per hour right now and there's no shake of the steering wheel or anything. Um, so the front suspension is great. Uh, we're gonna go, gonna go down here. Nothing. There's no noise that comes from the engine. There's no weird noises coming from the transmission. It's very common to hear transmission whine or very rough shifting on these cars. Not on this one. Everything is very tight, very perfect. Um, I'm going to go down the next street over. Or you know what? Um, I might actually just go to the highway and do a pull up to about 100 kilometers per hour or so just so you can see how the car is on on the acceleration on the highway that it doesn't hesitate okay so right now we're heading into the highway I'm gonna put it in sport mode and we're gonna do a pull to the speed limit because I don't want to get my car impounded but I basically just want to show that the uh, Steptronic here works fine you know we're gonna go down to and we're going to go. Just going to do a quick highway run. Well, unfortunately, the good camera, the battery died, so I'm just going to wrap the video up uh, with the cell phone camera. Uh, the car is excellent. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, the reason I'm selling is that I bought a, the 750IL individual, which again, some of you may have seen. And there's really no, I mean, I can only drive one car at a time, right? And I don't like owning a bunch of cars. Uh, so the 740i Sport is done. It's ready for the next owner to enjoy it and, you know, not be stranded on the side of the road. Um, Whoever buys it will definitely enjoy it. It's 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 a great E38. Um, it's probably the nicest 740i Sport you can get at the moment. Um, it might be one of the nicest ever to hit the market. Uh, you can compare. I mean, all this stuff is public. You can go online. You can see um, past the history and sales and everything, and you can see what maintenance has been done to the cars. It's very rare to find a 740i Sport from 2001 with the maintenance that has been performed on this one and the general condition and the OEM upgrades on it. It's, it's absolutely excellent. Honestly, if I hadn't purchased the 750i L individual that I'm working on restoring right now, I would still be daily driving this car, but unfortunately one of them has to go. So if you have any questions, if you want me to perhaps record something specific on the car or um, take a picture of something specific, please let me know. My The best way to contact me is through my email, cars at e38registry.org. It's going to be in the description. And also check out my website. The, 38 registryorg uh, lots of inf information on the BMW 38 series. If you have one of them, please let me know, send me an email, I'd be glad to add you to the registry. So yeah, uh, have fun and hopefully the car goes to someone who will enjoy it as much as I did.